Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. As you all might notice, it is the last Sunday of October, so today's video will be the October Favorites video. And so, let's get into it. <laughs> So, as you all may know, if you are following the channel, I'm pretty big into fashion and hype and stuff. So, we're going to kick off October Favorites with fashion. And so, um, the general theme for October fashion for me has kind of been athleisure. Because I'm a student, I have a lot of midterms, I'm traveling a lot for interviews and stuff. Um, I really just like to be comfortable over being like, you know, like, snazzy and fashionable, I guess. And so athleisure is the kind of fashion style that actually goes out there and um, makes it easy to live for a student. <laughs> Anyways, so I'll kind of break up athleisure into two parts, the joggers and the shoes, because the shoes are what you flex, the joggers are what make you comfortable, the shoes should also make you comfortable, but like, kind of half and half. Anyways, so let's go for the shoes first. Um, I wore this shoe so much in October. Um, the Gucci New A shoes have been a go-to. Um, I wore them in my travel vlog. I wear them pretty much as much as I can just because I love just slipping this on and just going out the door. It's just super comfortable, super convenient. Um, highly suggest picking up a pair, honestly. It's worth the price, in my opinion. This is one of the few designer shoes that I think is actually really, really worth the price just because it's such a classic silhouette. Um, so the next one is the Yeezy Cream 350 V2s. Um, these ones, same logic. Like, if you're wearing an athleisure outfit, it's super easy to just slip on a white shoe <laughs> and just kind of go with it. And so this silhouette is perfect for that kind of occasion, and it also just goes with your outfit. Like, I honestly get a lot of compliments just by wearing the shoe because it's white. And so it's super comfortable. Like, any shoe with boost and prime knit is just the recipe for super comfort, so highly suggest um, considering the shoe in your rotation. Finally, here is the Yeezy Boost 700 um, V1. I love this shoe. Um, oddly enough, like, I've mentioned in my Yeezy comparison video, but like, this shoe started growing on me super quickly in October. Like, I would wear this shoe, it would be my default, like, oh, let's slip it on to leave the house kind of a shoe, because it's super easy to slip on, you guys know I hate laces, and so, I just wear this ugly shoe out and it just feels great. <laughs> like, I don't even know why. But yeah, it matches a lot of my gray sweaters, so I just wear some intermediate, like, maybe jogger or pair of jeans, and then bam, you have an outfit. And that's athleisure. Um, so that's about it for the shoes for this month. Um, these are my three main rotating shoes. I do occasionally wear boots still, but like, I mean, it's just a hassle because instead of slipping something on, you have to like, you know, like pull it up and stuff. Anyways, so let's move on to the joggers, which kind of make athleisure athleisure, right? So there are three main joggers that I kind of go to. So um, my end cutscene, I'm wearing these Umoro joggers, and these joggers last the test of time like this jogger is honestly my favorite jogger time and time again i even ordered like another one that's made of fleece just so i can wear this brand like in heavier winters it's absolutely amazing like this material is really stretchy it fits absolutely perfectly um it has a nice little cuff down here um and i'll kind of do a little bit of a stretch test to give you guys an idea of like what these joggers are like but uh, generally, this is the stretch test. It really, it really hi highlights, I suppose, like your nicer like features. If you have like smaller ankles, it gives you that nice little taper, etc., etc. So this black jogger um, from Umoro is one of my favorites. Um, let's move on a little bit. Obviously, you guys have seen this one already, but this is the jogger that I wore um, from Lululemon that I traveled with in my travel vlog. Um, this one is thin, comfortable, but yet oddly warm. It's like, it's such a nice jogger. Here's the stretch test here. It's a nice little stretchy, stretchy jogger, stretchy jogger. Anyways, this is an extra small. I love Lululemon joggers. I also love Lululemon in general. I'd never thought I'd be a lemon, but I am a lemon. Just kind of turned out that way. Anyways, so these joggers are a must. I got them tapered because they were a little long for me, but after I got them tapered and tailored and stuff like that, like, Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Really complements your body shape. And the last pair of joggers that I have to suggest are these Alphalete ones. They have a nice little stripe going down the middle. It's a white stripe. Um, 
This was part of their newest drop, I believe, and these ones just are so hugging on your body. Like, this one's probably, like, the most warm in terms of material because, like, um, it has some cotton in it, it has some polyester, and it's just really functional for winter. Like, um, depending on the October weather, because October weather can really range from, like, 60 degree warm to, like, you know, like, 40, 30 degree weather. This one's definitely your, like, 40-ish weather go-to because it's very, very warm and it's super comfortable. Very stretchy, complements your figure really well. Highly recommend! But yeah, that kind of wraps it up for my October fashion favorites. Um, I'll leave all the brands and the shoes linked down below if I can find, like, links to find them. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, those are my fashion favorites. Let's move on to the next section. Alright guys, so let's talk music favorites. So we're gonna go from west to east, and so the only western song that I've liked from October-ish um, is the Steve Aoki featuring BTS, Wasted On Me. I love that song. It's like super, super good. Give it a listen if you haven't already. It's kind of trending, I think, in like the top 10 or top 20 of YouTube right now, so really easy to find. I'll link it down below too. Um, let's move to the eastern side now. So in terms of eastern releases, obviously, you know, I'm into K-pop. I full dive into a culture when I try to learn the language. So um, being able to immerse myself into the music really helps. And so um, let's talk about K-pop releases. I use Comeback, BBBB was really, really good. I really like the song. Um, it's not as like catchy and trendy to me as it probably is for some other people, but it's a really good song. Um, Locos, It Takes Time, that was a really, really good song that released this month too. Icon's new album, and uh, the Blackpink Dua Lipa collab, oh my gosh, I'm shaking. It, it's like a really good song. All these songs will be, songs and albums will be linked down below. Um, and finally, there is the number one favorite for October, the number one song that I've been repeating the most, and that is Dream Me by Joy and Mark. Joy is from Red Velvet, and she has just this absolute beautiful voice. Mark is a rapper, I don't really know about him, but that song is absolutely amazing. It's from an original soundtrack for like a show or something. I haven't exactly watched the show, but um, I really want to binge it with one of my friends. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Anyways, so those are my music favorites for the month of October, and I'll link everything down below if you guys are interested in checking it out for yourself. Okay, so the third section that I have kind of for October, aside from fashion and music, is food and like nutrition and health and wellness. So in this general section, I wanted to talk about some places or things that I just like to eat in October. Um, I've noticed myself eating a lot at Meatheads, so Meatheads is, I'm not sure if it's a local or if it's like a regional kind of franchise, it's like a burger place, but they really put a lot of consideration into what they make and the food that they bring to the table. Um, so I typically get a grilled chicken sandwich, and I don't know why, I usually hate eating grilled chicken, but they make it so good, and I just don't understand, I really don't understand. But. Um, it's so good, it's almost addicting. <laughs> Anyways, so Meatheads is a franchise. If you haven't checked them out, try them. Like, it's really, really good. Um, if you don't have Meatheads near you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> Anyways, um, the other October favorite food, I guess, is tangerines and clementines. So, as kind of the colder months come along, um, flu season starts happening, and on top of food season happening, you have a lot of colds, and you kind of need to bump up your immune system. Tangerines and clementines are a perfect way of kind of staying a little more healthy while, you know, having a nice little snack during your day, from your day-to-day -day life. Get them. They're everywhere. Walmart, your grocery store, any sort of organic grocery store, they'll have clementines or tangerines. Like, you'll, you'll find it. Easy way to boost your immune system. Um, in terms of nutrition and supplements for that kind of like food sector, I've been loving this one protein brand. So this is um, not sponsored at all, but this is the protein that I use. It's called Ghost. The peanut butter cereal milk has stuck with me so, so long. I love this flavor. It's just delicious. Um, there's also another flavor that I've been absolutely loving recently, and it's the coffee ice cream flavor. Both are really good. 
wonderful protein macros. You get like 25 grams, 26 grams per scoop, and you can really, really start stacking it to be healthier, 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 which is always good. And I guess the final ones is just creatine and pre-workout BCAs. Those are really the only supplements that I've been taking. The best brand for me so far has been this brand called Beyond Raw. I love their pre-workout. I also love their um, BCAAs. They taste amazing and I just never get tired of them. Usually you, you would get tired of them after, you know, having a lot of supplements and stuff. But if you guys are interested in like supplements and like fitness, wellness stuff, um, I can obviously make videos. Just leave them in the comments and ask. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so this about wraps up the October Fall Favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed. All the things that I mentioned will be linked down below best I can. And so I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful end of October into the beginning of November. Of course, um, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Kevin, and I'll see you guys next week if I decide to do a surprise upload or if I decide to just upload the daily reviews. But yes, keep it fresh and see you guys then. <laughs> see ya!